Hey everybody and welcome to Race City Marine. Today you join me out on the lake on one of our pre-owned boats. This is our 2023 Super Aeronautique G25 Paragon. For more information on this boat, our new or used inventory, take a look at our contact information down in the description. So this beautiful Paragon we're on today is finished off in a really nice jet black metal flake. You're also gonna see the Mystic White along the hull and then moving to the interior, you're gonna see that really nice Mojave Brown for the upholstery and then Mocha Brown for all this sea deck flooring. Now, the G25 Paragon has some awesome technology. Underneath the swim platform, you're gonna see that surf pipe exhaust right in the center, which makes all the exhaust fumes bubble deep into the prop stream, so your rider's not inhaling any fumes, and it makes for a very quiet ride. We have the NCRS wave plate right in the center to configure your wave super easily and keep the boat up on plane. And then on each side, you're gonna notice NSS, which is Nautique Surf System. Those plates will protrude outwards just a little bit to further shape your wave, going from left side to right side in a touch of a button. We also have a telescoping ladder underneath the swim platform. And then the swim platform itself is all lined with sea decking to give you a non-slip surface. You're gonna see cup holders as well as a grab handle. And of course, you're gonna notice I'm on these really awesome loungers. These lounge chairs are a great way to spend your time with your friends and family out on the lake. Now, in between on this transom walkthrough, you're gonna notice we have an area you can open up and this is more storage space. There's even a drain plug, so you can double this as a cooler or just to put wet items in it. And now this whole configuration, as you can see, we have this super awesome lounge chair. However, you can pull this headrest down and fold down the entire seat. And now you can see just the whole configuration over this engine. You can also double this area for a smaller seat utilizing a cup holder. And we of course have the wake sub, which is an awesome JL audio speaker system through the side of the hull. Now there's also storage. If you push this down, we have gas struts to assist it. And you can see all this dry storage space underneath. The table is even housed in here. And you can see how it's lined with more sea decking to give you a nice storage area. Now, if we go ahead and close these and lock it down, we have a transom audio remote on the side. And then I really love the evenly stepped walkthrough. Super convenient to enter and exit your G25. And one of my favorite features is the fact that we even have a step on the center of this cushion. Now this cushion is the reversible transom seat. So if I go ahead and lift it up, we can lock it into a few different positions right here. And then you can see we have a nice backrest. You're also able to unlock it and continue pulling it farther forwards into another position. And you can even pull it farther from there. Now in conjunction with that, we can open up these side seats and you're gonna have so much rear facing seating. This is a great boat to catch all the action behind the wave. And of course your passenger still has a fantastic seat. Now, if we unlock that again, of course, we can put it all the way back into its lowest position. And then you're gonna see the really nice wraparound seating. Now, if you close this, you can see just how nice that is. Of course, you have your backrest and then a huge amount of storage space all underneath this cushion. And then on the other side, we have the same seat that will lift up on a hinge with more dry storage space. In total, the G25 Paracon holds 19 people. If we move up to this passenger seat, you can see how much comfort there is in this boat. The seating is fantastic. Nice upholstery throughout the interior. And this is a pre-owned boat again. It looks brand new inside and out. You can see all the cup holders, speakers, and grab handles all throughout it. And then the passenger seat is even gonna be on a hinge. If we open it up, it has a gas strut and there's ample amount of storage space, as you can tell, underneath. We even have our subwoofer down there as well. Now, up above, you're gonna see the glove box. There is a transparent window. So if you have a cell phone or something, you have easy access to see what's inside. And then opening this up, we have a few items in here. We also have the head unit itself for the JL Audio, a few auxiliaries and plugs, and your passenger heated seat icon. Now in the center, you can see, of course, all that sea decking. This upper compartment, if we open it up, we have an integrated cooler, matches the interior of your boat, Great way to access all of your food and water without worrying about moving your seats. Now, if we move on to the race-inspired helm seat, I love the design of it with all the upholstery. We have power buttons to slide this forwards and back. It will, of course, swivel, and we even have an adjustable bolster right here if you need that extra height. Now, one of my favorite designs with Nautique's driver's seat, it has a leg cutout. So you're able to comfortably sit in the seat sideways, talk to everybody in the boat, view your rider, and of course, keep your eyes ahead. Now, on the right side, we have controls down here for your engine hatch. With one touch of a button, you're easily able to open it up and view your engine along with a ton more dry storage space on each side of the motor. This packs the PCM ZZ8. We also have our telescoping tower. You can just press that 
And with one touch of a button, we're gonna be able to lower this tower all the way down to the windshield line for those low sun early mornings and evenings. Really beautiful design, how it's all gonna come down to this level. And as you can see, it's a really cool design, just how low everything is. You can still tow from the tower at this angle, and you're also to take a pretty good look at the Bimini. So we have our ski pylon, our light up top with the awareness camera. You can press a button and this is gonna automatically fold back up. We have surf pockets on the top of this Bimini top as well. And as you can tell, it's pretty large to really shade the interior. Underneath the Bimini, there's storage nets that are all made out of mesh so you can fit wet items like your rope, which is a convenient touch to see. Also along the side, we have a huge armrest, a rotary dial with a bunch of shortcut icons to control your link pan array screen. We have your home icon, cruise control, rider profile, as well as volume. Moving to the screen, it's also touch screen. You have your awareness camera, which will pop up. You can view what's going on behind the boat and you can easily shape your wave with five different settings with a nice animation. We have our steering assist icon right here, which is a thruster integrated underneath the swim platform to easily pivot the boat when picking up riders or just docking. You can also scroll on this left side and see all your Bluetooth and audio information, all five ballast tanks, which are subfloor. That's why you have all the storage in this boat. We also have all of your controls for lighting, full navigation screen as well to view the lake you're on, and then different settings within the boat. There's a control panel underneath that with a lock design with a keypad. We have your start stop, horn, bilge, and blower, and you're also gonna see a cup holders and wireless phone charging all down below. Now we have a secondary screen up here, which is always gonna show all the vitals within the boat, so you can monitor your engine, your speed, as well as that cruise control and your depth finder, and a beautiful three-spoke steering wheel with more of this upholstery. Now, if we make our way to the bow, you do get an air dam right in the center for those chilly days, and of course, the windshield can close nicely. Now, this bow is huge on the G25 Paragon. As you can tell, we have the bow filler cushion right in the center. You can really lounge out and just enjoy your day on the lake. So much room up here. These seats are also captain's chairs, and you're gonna see these armrests that are gonna lock into position for that forward facing seat. Pressing a button, they unlock and go down. And you're also gonna see there is more dry storage space underneath both of these seats. So you can see the sea decking lying in it as well. And the seat I'm on right now, this bow filler cushion, you can even remove it just to give yourself more leg room. Or if you flip it around, it's all lined with more sea decking for an integrated step. And up front, same sort of deal. You can pick this up, remove it all together and just have a really cool area under here or have a raised step with this in that position. You're gonna see more sea decking throughout the upper area. Also gives you a safer entry and exit for this boat. And on hinges, you can easily close everything when you're done. Last but not least, let's check out these massive speakers on top of the telescoping tower. Each housing has two different speakers in it. You can see the upholstery and lighting on it, which really throws an amazing sound. And we get swivel board racks. You can unlock them and pull them inside. They're pretty wide and lined with rubber to accommodate large boards. You can even adjust the mounting surface for very wide boards and it's spring assisted to safely secure your boards. When they're outside, it's also gonna make it to where all the water's gonna drip outside your boat. So there is a full look at one of our pre-owned boats, our 2023 Super Aeronautique G25 Paragon. Amazing spec, awesome boat for your friends and family. If you have any questions on this or other pre-owned or our new inventory, take a look at our contact information in the description and we look forward to seeing you all out on the water.